This is actually one of the biggest solar projects in New York City right now. Solar energy is transforming the roofscape of New York City, helping it cut emissions and face the challenges of climate change. Hi, I'm Rob Ashmore. I'm the president of Aon Solar. My company has installed over uh, 100 systems, so we feel pretty good about that. On a day like today, New York City rooftops are drenched in enough light to support 16,000 megawatts of solar power, and the race is on to put them up. All combined between this array and the other array, we're producing about 70,000 watts on this system. Another tough day at the office. Rob got his start in California, the undisputed national solar leader, but tax breaks and a hungry market pulled him east. In New York City, there's a good basket of incentives. It's really neat to see kind of the roofscape of the city uh, evolve. There's so much going up in so many different neighborhoods. We do three or four a week. It's been exponential, over 100% growth. It's a boom, say city officials. In 2007, there were a few installers in New York City, and we only had about a megawatt of solar. Tria Case was asked to spearhead a cross-agency network to help installers supercharge that number to 8.4 megawatts. They did. Everyone is sort of growing together. Installations like this one behind me have helped the city achieve their solar goals three years early. But if you talk to installers themselves, they'll say that the regulations are too onerous and that New York's got a long way to go before reaching its solar potential. Everything just takes longer and costs more. From A to Z, it can take eight months. Only five weeks was actually doing installation work here on the site. And that makes new installers wary of being burned. There's very few people that know how to deal with the entire process. So there's this balance between wanting to support the industry, but also wanting to make sure that we do it right. Still, the city does admit the process is cumbersome and has signed a new half million dollar Department of Energy program to slash it to 100 days. So that you know where your permit is in the process. Relief for a city about to swelter through another summer likely to have 14 days over 90 degrees. Days when air conditioners push the electric grid to its limits. And solar is producing at its best when we're at our peak. Even so, the city's current solar capacity is only a tiny slice of its 52 million megawatt energy pie. For a city of 8 million people, we're not even scratching the surface here. We're at the tippy top of the iceberg of what we could be doing.